Tonight, an emotional outpouring from the mother of an American college student, Otto Warmbier, who died shortly after being released from North Korean custody. Brian Todd has the story for us. So Brian, Cindy Warmbier is opening up about the truly horrifying ordeal her family uh, had to endure after he returned home. That's right. Well, she is opening up, and she tore into Kim Jong-un in a very personal way. Cindy Warmbier has some very blunt and biting comments about the way the North Koreans treated her son, and she called the regime, quote, a cancer on the earth. When Otto Warmbier was brought home from a North Korean labor camp in a coma, his mother says he looked like a monster. The look in his eyes, which I didn't know he was blind at the time, was absolute horror. Horror, like he'd seen the devil, and he had. He was with the devil. Cindy Warmbier says if she had known North Korea would demand the U.S. agree to pay $2 million for the release of her son, she would have sprung into action. If I had to, I would have raised the money, and I wish they would have asked for the money from day one because it was all about hostage-taking. But instead, they had a much bigger... Um, use for auto. President Trump says that money was never paid, although U.S. officials did sign a bill in order to have Warmbier released. He died six days after his return in 2017. Cindy Warmbier spoke during a panel in Washington today about North Korean kidnappings. Just a mile away, former North Korean soldiers were on Capitol Hill detailing what they called the brutality of Kim Jong-un's regime. Former members of Kim's vaunted Million Man Army, often seen in lockstep on the parade route, said behind the scenes, those choreographed routines were a facade, hiding rampant abuse and starvation. I was really hungry all the time. I was starving. My height is short because of the malnutrition I experienced in the military. From the first day, we were forced to go to villages and steal food from civilians. Some soldiers were even more desperate. Former North Korean artillery officer Kang Ri Hyuk told us of one young soldier in his unit. During a training exercise, he says, the soldier was so hungry, he ate a frog alive. He didn't know that this frog was poisonous. He became unconscious, and he died within a couple of hours. These accounts come a year and a half after a young North Korean staff sergeant made this dramatic dash across his country's border with South Korea. Surveillance video showing him being pursued and shot several times by his North Korean comrades. He was rescued and almost died of his wounds. In the hospital, he too was treated for severe malnutrition. For female North Korean soldiers, mistreatment of a different kind. Choi Yu Jin is a former nurse in the People's Army. She says a female colleague of hers was forced to have an affair with a superior officer. The woman became pregnant, Choi says, and almost died when she suffered a miscarriage. She said when they asked her to have an affair with him, there was no way she could refuse. She had to do it in order to get party membership so she could have a better life. The only thing she could sacrifice was her body. These horrific stories come as President Trump remains determined to pursue his personal diplomacy with Kim Jong-un. Diplomacy which Otto Warmbier's mother calls a charade. How can you have diplomacy with someone that never tells the truth? He lies, he lies, he lies all for himself. We reached out to North Korea's mission at the UN for their response to the accounts from those soldiers of starvation and abuse. They didn't get back to us. But Kim Jong-un has previously said publicly that his soldiers should be spared no amount of nutrition so that they could, quote, feel the loving care of his regime. Wolf? So, uh, Brian, was the uh, Warm Beer family told that the North Koreans were demanding $2 million for his release? Wolf, Cindy Warm Beer says they were not told about that at the time of the negotiations. She says the family only learned of that demand when the Washington Post first reported it last week. All right, Brian, thanks very much, Brian Todd, reporting.